that's Bluff and Gary. It's News Extra Time at KNEB 748. Brought to you today by Intralinks. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And uh, on this day after Christmas, we got to start thinking about the new year a little bit. And one of those things that comes up every January is the uh, Scotts Bluff Gearing United Chamber of Commerce Annual Banquet. Karen Anderson is here. And uh, you're getting ready for it, aren't you? Yes, we are. We've been busy. We've got three great winners that we'll honor. We have a rising star, a visionary superstar, and a trailblazer. But our event is Thursday, January 31st. Uh, we showcase with a centerpiece um, viewing that starts at 6 o'clock. So we're looking for centerpieces. Mm -hmm. We have a really interesting theme this year. We have Becky Zwickle, who will be going out, and Bill Trumbull, who will be coming in as our chair. So our theme is from heels to hammers. That's so a it good should be kind of fun. It's a good theme. should be fun. Yeah, that centerpiece viewing is interesting, uh, and they still uh, have some spots open if you want to sponsor a centerpiece, um, because uh, the centerpieces are usually uh, rather unique. They're great. Um, the, if you've never seen it before, you need to come. It's just yeah, really fun. It's fun. So, it is and then time. someone wins the centerpiece. Yeah. So you might go home with something. Yeah, you awesome. might go home with something, and uh, it's pretty neat. How much does it cost to sponsor a centerpiece? Um, you just simply... Do the centerpiece. Do the centerpiece. Um, a just lot of the floral you know, places right? will do it, or uh, many businesses will create it themselves. Yeah. So, yeah. And it just needs to be there before. by noon on that day, and then we showcase them at six. Yep. Yeah. I know Caney B's done it. A lot of a lot of businesses do it, and like you say, a lot of them sometimes don't even use flowers with it. it has it's pretty amazing. Some will use their products, so it's yeah. a, it's an interesting yeah. 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 It's, thing it's, to see. It's pretty cool. So, um, how much are tickets? Tickets are $25 per person uh, for chamber members, and sometimes we have non-chamber members come, and that's a little bit more. Uh, if you'd like tables, we do have breaks for tables, so just give us a call at, uh, let's see, 632-2133. Almost forgot, Yes. Huh? Yeah, I was going to say, I think I, I think I know your number about as well as you do. Yes. Probably 632-2133 is the number to call, and make sure you uh, get your tickets for the chamber banquet. It's always a lot of fun. 7 o'clock is a dinner and awards, and you have all those people all lined up, ready to go, huh? Yes, yes, we're of working course, on all the scripts. The, of course, the people that uh, are getting the awards don't know. Yes, and we even fooled you one year. Yes, you did. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I lo looked up there, I goes, hmm, why are some of these people here? I couldn't figure out exactly why yes. my grandson was there, and he wouldn't That's necessarily kind of be at the chamber banquet. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of fun. It was, it was cool. So... Uh, all right, so we so we get that uh, taken care of, and then you've also got uh, the big uh, legislative trip coming up in in February, yes, right? Yes, uh, February fifth and sixth, we take a delegation to Lincoln. We fill a bus. Um, we take the leadership Scotts Bluff group. This year, the Shadron uh, leadership group will be joining us, and then we'll be meeting up with the Sydney leadership group as well. So we'll have a strong Western delegation. We have a reception at the governor's mansion that evening, and then the following day. We'll meet in his office and we'll do a gallery viewing, which is kind of awesome if you've never seen legislator at work. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that haven't seen the legislature yeah. at work, isn't it? I mean, it's it's a long drive to go to Lincoln, I guess, unless you had some reason to do it. Well, you probably wouldn't it's watch. It's great it. to see how the process works and how accessible our senators are. We visit with Senator Harms and and the governor and a few other officials down there, so it, right. it's worth the trip. And there are things we need to talk to the legislature about when you make sure they're thinking Heartland Expressway yes. when the when the uh, money comes through, especially now that there's some additional money right. available due to Senator Fisher's bill from mm -hmm. a few years ago, and so we got to make sure about that. And then there's other things that crop up, and uh, I know Senator Harms is kind of looking at some different bills as well. So yes, we also do something during legislative session called roles and issues, and at 7:30 on a Thursday morning, I I believe we'll start this after. We get back from our Lincoln trip, so I think February 14th. But Thursday mornings at 7.30, we do a conference call, and then you can visit with the senator. Yeah. He'll update us what's going on, and you can ask questions. So he's pretty accessible. Yeah. It's a big year. They, uh, it's a budget year. And so they have right. to figure out uh, how to balance that budget. It's not as bad as I think they thought it was going to be. I think it was, the deficit was four or $500 million. At one time, I think it's down around one to two. So, I mean, manageable. Well, so, 
you know, uh, it's, it's manageable for him. I know uh, Dr. Harms talked about early childhood development being one of his mm -hmm. keys for him when I talked to him uh, earlier. So anyway, so how much is it to go down again? It's $250 per person, and that includes your bus trip down there, your motel room, and most meals. So. Okay. All right. So it's pretty pretty simple and uh, pretty inexpensive. So, again, the number is 632-2133. If you're interested, it fills up pretty fast. Yes, it does. And so call early. So call early. you got to kind of get that done here, even uh, before the new year or shortly after, if you want to get in on that. Right. All right. Okay, very good. So there's lots of things... Yes. You're, you're working on, huh? Yes, we stay out of trouble. Yeah, all right. Well, belated Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, good 2013. You too. Thank you for having me. You bet.